they, uh, scratches or stuff like that. Um, right. I mean, it, it, it happens. Um, Unfortun unfortunately, no, no. though, the uh, ones they also give information. They don't always follow us to do bad things. So no. they they they'll follow us to like help us, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, for sure. Happen. You well, you get the nice one. Well, what, yeah. what do you mean by that, though? I mean, how do they help you? The, tell the story. Tell yeah. the story. Tell the story. Yeah. Tell the story. <laughs> which story? Right. Which of the ones? Yeah. Which oh, other? Oh, oh, great example. Okay, I for I didn't forget about it. <laughs> we went. They went to a case, and I probably was working on it. I didn't go, but I was helped them out because I'll pick up on spirits, and they visit me in my apartment sometimes to tell me things, and I realize I sound crazy. But we went there to try to talk to the spirits in this, I think it was an apartment, and, and clear them. And the client, just they didn't show up, and we had to go home early, right? <coughs> so I got home, and the spirit from that case, his name was Rex, he was there with me and I didn't know what he wanted and I was kind of tired and I'm like what do you want I'm sorry we couldn't clear you we'll work on something later because we can sometimes do help them remotely um, and I was getting frustrated and normally I would stay up later or take a shower and I'm like I don't know what you want I'm going to bed and I went to bed and I don't know if I should bring ghost radar into it or not it's an app it's like a game app on your phone it's not, okay. it picks up on words like spirit words and i don't I use it yeah i don't <laughs> use it in investigations but i turned it on and forgot about it and went to bed and around 1 30 that morning or two i woke up and i was so scared i couldn't move um someone tried to kill my neighbor above me and they put 36 bullets into my bedroom while i was asleep in my bed um if we had gone in to that case to help move the spirits on, I probably would have been home and awake and walking around. Normally, I would have been up taking a shower after that, but because the spirit was there and I got frustrated, I went to sleep because I didn't know what he wanted. Um, I got up after that the next morning, and I thought, I remembered that I had Ghost Radar on, and it only said a couple words. It said trap. It said home. It said danger. It said, I forget, like four or five words only, and they were all relevant to what happened. So I think we probably all feel like he was there kind of trying to warn me, because if I would have been standing up, there were three bullets that were close to my head where I was laying down. Really? The they girl above me the got wall. hit. Through the wall or through the floor? It, I'm, the, I'm lower level. She was above me. Uh -huh. And so if he would have got one through the main window, I, w I wouldn't be here. If I was up walking around... I Which would have normally would have been. Yeah, I normally would have been up taking a shower. I, because right. of my the job I had then, I kept late hours and I would have been up. But like I said, I just got frustrated and unlike me, I just like I don't know what he wants. I'm just going to bed. What area of town were you living in? I live in North Houston. Okay. It used to be an okay area. It's a little dodgy, and I'm trying to get out of there. But that's yeah. the first shooting, you know, that we that we've had, and I've been there like 14 years. So. <clears throat> Thirty six bullets came. Into, into, into my bedroom while I was asleep in my bed. What's crazy is well, that was a bunch of people. Huh? Or somebody was reloading. One guy just yeah. showering. Yeah. I was so scared. I got on Facebook, and God bless, Michelle was there. And I talked to Michelle. And then Jason took over because I don't have family. And who's up at that time in the morning? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, somebody right. talk to me because what's going on? The cops had to come. It destroyed my bedroom. It went through my closet. And ruined all my clothes. I mean, this kid just, he wasn't a very good aim because he just, there's still a bullet hole. I actually have a picture of it um, because they haven't painted my front door. I have a, actually a picture of it on my phone. But yeah, he got bullets everywhere. He didn't. It's girl, a miracle you didn't get hit. Yeah, I had a guy, yeah, I had a, a cop come in and say, he said he'd been in the armed forces. He said, and what happened here in your bedroom? He said, he said, and I've seen some stuff. He said, this scares me. And I'm, he's like, you have every, I've heard this before, and it's a saying, you've got somebody looking out for you. I've heard that right. quite a bit. I just always say, it, I mean, if you believe in that sort of thing, it's not your time. And I kind of I kind of said that. But Rex, he's a good example, because I would not have gone to bed, except I couldn't figure out what he wanted, and I was frustrated. And that's the only reason I went to bed that night so early. So. Wow. Hmm. And it was really ironic, because she was very upset that she didn't get to do that clearing um, because it was really Michelle, myself, and Jason who yeah. had done the whole investigation, and that was her one part, and that was to help with clearing. 
And then we know what clearing means. We're going to help move move Rex and some of the spirits, help them cross over because right. they, they wanted to move on. Wow. Um, so we were there, and she was very upset, and she kept saying, I wish he would show up. I'm upset that this isn't going to get done. <clears throat> We've told them we're coming back. They're going to think we're not coming back. And we have another a friend outside of the group who's also a priest. Um, he's a Taoist and Buddhist priest, and he helps us out with certain cases. Uh, and he was there, and I was there, and we just told her, both of us are very big on things happen for a reason. You may not know what it is, but there is a reason. Mm -hmm. And so we just kind of gave her that. We kept trying to get in touch, and eventually we said, it's just not going to happen tonight. Yeah, they said, you everything know, we'll happens for a reason. And I'm like, what, we don't get to pass them on? I'm like, this sucks. We've been standing in this parking lot for two hours. Right. And then, you know, she goes home, and that happens. Yeah. And it was like, thank God we didn't clear him. Check out this full episode and other great podcasts on Hank's Think Tank on YouTube.